Hi friends, today we are going to see demo on Snowflake uh, table stream changes clause. If you have not seen my recent blog on Snowflake streams, I would suggest you to please have a look. I had captured complete detail over there. You can also find the blog link in the video description below. Uh, before we start with the demo, let's understand deeply what is stream. Uh, stream object captured DML operation on a table, including metadata about each changes. This process is also known as change data capture and like uh, there is an alternative uh, so that the thing which we want to discuss on today's uh, demo is basically an alternative to the stream so uh, the scenario where we don't want to create a stream but we want to track the changes uh, we can do that with a read only uh, changes clause so this changes clause is part of your select statement you have to provide the changes clause and you have to also input the different parameter like information type whether you want to track the append only or you want to track the standard one and with the timestamp you need to pass the timestamp value uh, at one time you want to track and based on that your changes clause will take so behind the scene that uh, the structure of tracking is the same the three metadata column will get created on the uh, created as uh, like similar to stream the only difference is in this case we don't have to create the stream it will be automatically tracked based on the uh, changes clause but it is not automatically getting tracked so you have to alter the table and you have to set the uh, changes clause to true so that uh, snowflake will understand that we have to start tracking the changes so uh, now let's start see some demo and then we will understand what is the difference and how, how we differentiate that with the stream but we, at the end the goal is to track the table changes all the daemon operations so uh, today i'm going to use the sysadmin uh, for this demo as previ all of my previous demo and i'm going to create a database called stream changes clause demo i'm to use the same product table for this demo as well so that we are inconsistent and uh, uh, if we are following my previous demo on the stream we will totally get uh, what is the next step and at least the base setup is understood by default so as i already told you uh, in case of stream we create the stream on the table but in case we want to use a change clause uh, we, we have to do the alter table uh, table name set change change equal tracking equal to true this change in code tracking equal to true uh, tells uh, snowflake that please start uh, track all the changes on the table so this is how the table will start doing the tracking uh, on all the dml operation we are setting one of the parameters so i'm just setting the value of the timestamp uh, this is a variable called timestamp and i'm putting the value of current timestamp to the variable so that at the end when i'm going to track the changes i can use this variable to input the current time before starting anything so i am going to now insert the records on the product table so successfully five records inserted and now i am going to delete one record where id equal to 1 and i am going to update the price of the product table with 90 where id equal to 2 so in short what we did we inserted five rows so there should be five rows of insert statement but then we have also deleted one row so now stream will let with or not the stream but the changes clause or the tracking table should have four rows because we have now deleted one row so the delta of the insert and delete uh, will uh, uh, finalize or some uh, means like uh, end up with four rows in short so basically the end uh, re uh, end reflection is four rows and uh, we already deleted one so there should be four rows with id two three four five now that we have updated also uh, the price to 94 id 2 so there will be four rows but the id uh, 2 will have 90 uh, as a price all other three will have uh, 100 price so now we are done with all the changes what we wanted to do and uh, without uh, investing time into any other thing let's see what is the changes we can see on uh, the product table uh, based on default here default means the standard uh, tracking the standard stream but the it will follow the same uh, standard technique uh, which we were using for standard stream if we pass the default and if we pass the append only it will use the append only stream concept 
so let's see i am also passing at timestamp equal to this so after this timestamp whatever he's done as part of this the table tracking will be shown below so you as as i suggested for the standard stream there are three rows with the 100 that is three four five and because we have updated the uh, id2 with the 90 it is showing as insert as 90 and because we have not consumed anything uh, out of this uh, means like we are not we have not created any stream so this is not consume and this is the read only select statement so uh, you can do n number of time on the insert statement but this will not get changed so now that uh, we we are showing the delta uh, effect of all the things so one row get deleted that is id number one second row get updated with the value 90 and all the other three are inserted with 100 the same thing when we go ahead and do with the append only you will see only all the five rows are still there on this tracking so you can see there all the five rows are there with 100 value and we don't see any impact of the uh, delete and update in the append only track so this is the way you can either use your changes clause and use the tracking mechanism or you can also use the stream the only difference between the change clause and the stream is like on the stream when you use that stream in any dml operation with the commit your stream will get uh, truncated that means the stream will get uh, uh, cleared all the record will get consumed or whether it's consumed or not consumed if you have used the dml operation for even partial and if you pa pass the commit statement or execute the commit statement all the rows get uh, will get truncated from the stream and in change clause uh, there is no such thing so even it's a read only select statement so you can consume n number of time uh, the data will not get removed from this clause so that's the only difference between uh, changes clause apart from this you will see uh, whatever you can achieve from the uh, stream you can achieve here and another difference is uh, there is no support for external table for this i think uh, i'm not very sure but i don't think there is any uh, support for external table from the change clause but we will look for that when we will cover those part so uh, thanks guys if you like the video uh, please subscribe to my channel thank you